Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. This is the legendary Iron Man Army of Two run. My name is Saiken and I'm going to invite you for another spectacular mission on a Guerrilla Operations. We're currently in month number three, very, very close uh, to finally getting our magnetic weapon upgrade. And uh, I've decided that I want to go for a moderate difficult mission to still get a scientist uh, that will put our engineers uh, still further to the back. We are having currently one engineer to uh, scientists, so we're going to lag in this department. But at least our research will be fine. And for now, we that, that just means we will have a more difficult time upgrading certain items. Um, also, to be quite honest, the engineer mission was difficult and um, the dark event that we were countering wasn't as problematic as the guaranteed reinforcements on all uh, guerrilla operations mission, which is almost saying like you cannot do a guerrilla operations mission at all in the future. We're taking Roby and Manchester with us. Same team as before. I'm still confident that they will be able to pull it off. Roby can uh, recover items from Resistance Haven afar with his um, little drone. And having the Gremlin is definitely an advantage. Roby also has death from above, so if the landscape somewhat allows for, for a high ground position, we should be fine. Magister now has uh, parry, which means we should be okay, even with uh, larger and more dangerous enemies. And that's really the idea why I wanted to start with the uh, these two characters for now. Plus we do have, of course, our... Um, uh, our uh, medikit with us, which means at least to a certain degree we will be able to fight off uh, potential uh, potential uh, damage that we're taking. Anyways, so let's uh, go into the mission and talk a little bit about where we stand from a game perspective overall. I think uh, compared to my two test runs while I was pulling it off, this here um, works exceptionally well. I'm still not really convinced that it's uh, possible to pull it off, but uh, it, it works way better than the test runs. Um, at the magnetic weapons uh, part, I was usually so far behind that the avatar progress was already uh, almost fully complete. And the real uh, problematic uh, part will be to do the actual first uh, facility. So that was always an issue. We are having, but before we talk about this, let's focus on what's happening here. We are having our uh, package right up there. Got a nice little high ground here. Good position to fight. Unfortunately, we overall start in low ground. So might as well consider to go all the way around here and then upwards um, just so that we use line of sight to our advantage might as well even go all the way up to here there's no way that we can climb these pieces of high ground that's no that's out of uh, the map even so no high ground for now um, which means Roby can't fully take advantage of his abilities. We're taking uh, full movement for both of our operatives. All right, moving further up. We're now trying to go in even further. This is an extremely well -equipped mechanized yeah, we don't want to mess with those guys, at least not for, uh, from, uh, from the beginning. So if we were to hack 
this post here that would offer us what exactly crit chance increased for three turns yeah not really position alert isn't the worst uh, negative consequence but a bit of crit chance yeah whatever Oh, look at that. We already know there is yet another pack here. Okay, cool. Um, I am considering fight or flight, as always. Might as well move a bit closer. Three enemies there, okay, it's fine. Should have probably moved even further so we could have taken the high ground. I really wanted the high ground because that is Roby's strong suit. Standing here without actually triggering the other pack but being able to um to finish the mission that uh, or finish the timer that's a pretty compelling uh, reasoning hmm don't want to go inside yet difficult decision i wish we could move upstairs that would be such an easy call Knowing that this here is a spot where we can finish the mission, though, makes it incredibly more easy to stay back and just wait for now. We need to deal with uh, the mech. But that's probably going to be the last enemy that we are going to engage. It's most likely going to be kill the, uh, the other two first and use parry. That's pretty much it. Now they stay uh, stand right next to an explosive cascade. How could you say no to that? Like, seriously. Roby 8 protocols himself. And we're going to start off this beautiful mission. By hopefully killing both of these guys. So now it's time to parry. Parry, so the way the AI looks at it is it does not understand parry. So it will think that um, that the... Well, it will not think uh, that uh, the um, Templar will have lower defenses. It will actually think, let's use grenades, because I was wrong. They were still standing too close together. means Roby will get back to the um, sick bay once again. I think he only has one set of uh, rockets. Still parrying. That's the problem of lack of um, 
lack of actual shredding. Luckily we crit it. Advanced conditioning, wow that's good. Like it. Superior stock is also not bad. Right, we're overwatching next turn is going to be quote unquote hacking plus hoping that we can move back and then at least the timer is gone. Alright, let's hack the chest. Very nice positioning here. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Uh, what are we currently researching? I think it was... Oh yeah, um, the resistance radio. That's not bad. But I think the scanning time is even better. Because this here will give us, what, three days of uh, worth of scanning? That's three days worth of uh, research. This year would be an entire month of improved scanning. Let's try it. Well, uh, imagine how cool it would have been if we were, uh, if we could have pulled it off. There we go, that's one down. We can... Very much use parry to get rid of one of their attacks. Let's not get on top of the roof because uh, the rockets will definitely um, pull us down. Interestingly enough, he does not take a shot, which will make our parry even better. Okay, that was somewhat lucky. Yeah, we need to continue attacking, elsewise uh, it's not going to work out, so even if that means standing in the open, or somewhat in the open. Because without attack we will not get the parry, and without the parry we can't really continue. It is what it is. Um, this here is a good shot. So let's give him some sort of uh, cover. Nice little aid protocol. Come on, miss. Oh, that's the opposite of miss. To be honest, that's the pretty much exact opposite of come on, let's miss. Good. 
if we stand, if we continue standing here, we wouldn't uh, uh, take, uh, we wouldn't start to burn. It's just if we start moving again. So this here cures the burning. And this here will take here 100%. of uh, the um, purifier plus plus we got lucky all right so we can even can even move away. I guess that'll be okay. Back into full cover. It's killing time. Reloading. Probably need to make uh, my way up to high ground. Agreed. Or watch. Alright, Overwatch, Overwatch, and let's finally get Roby to the high ground that he deserves. Oh, feels good, man. Good job. Good job. Alright. There's probably one more pack. With moderate difficulty, we killed... A pack of three and a pack of so a pack of three here and another pack of three so at six, which means at least one more pack, maybe two. Overwatching. What's over there? As you order. No one gets by me. Did I just see two stun lancers? Oh my lord. Worst possible outcome. Enemy is still up. Coming in from the side. All right, let's go. This here will let him parry. And this here should be out of line of sight of the others and a solid hit. Come on. Oh. That's the opposite of a solid hit. We're, get, we're going to get pounded now. Mind spin. Come on, resist the mind spin. Take a shot. Take a shot, take a shot, take a shot. Don't hunger down. Well, that was a good shot, but the wrong target, man. That's the first parry and now the more difficult one. Come on, miss him. Come on, miss him. Alright, difficult, difficult, difficult. This here is hitting both of them. The 
reanimation. Oh, he takes a shot instead. Wow, that was close. Closer than expected, guys. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Yeah, I... It was a bit unlucky at the last engagement, missing the 83% shot. Um, but on the other hand, I mean, there, I did not have really a lot of counterplay anyways. Probably could have gotten uh, closer, taking a different uh, position with Roby, just making it almost a hundred percent. But that's hindsight twenty twenty. The fact that one of uh, them survived, uh, both of them survived, actually caused us additional damage. <sighs> Gravely wounded, but we got a promotion out of it. So let's see. This here is actually pretty, pretty damn good. 33% uh, chance. And we might as well change this here uh, then to Blade Storm. Because with Blade Storm, really, it wouldn't have happened. All right, face off. Let's change to Blade Storm. We're starting to use Blade Storm. For those of you who just watched this mission and haven't seen the very beginning, I said it's an unmoded run. The only thing that I am do uh, using is one single mod called I am the Commander. I explained it in the very first uh, mission. So just said so that you are aware where the respect button is coming from. So Blade Storm, definitely helpful. Um, we're going to go for Overcharge next. It's good. It's all good. I mean, with Bladestorm, we probably would have killed both of them immediately. Advanced conditioning, great. Love it. Repeater, also good. Superior stock is, is also really, really good. It's our first superior item. And we got a bit of loot, plus the scientist. I mean, not bad for the beginning, right? Um, we're still going. Do not have an engineer. That's the downside of it. There is some intel, but I'm not falling for it. I rather want uh, the faster healing. Alright, here we go, come on. No promotions, but uh, we increased our influence, which means we got uh, further uh, we got further orders that we could use. The chosen are gonna do whatever it takes to get to you, Commander. Even if that means wiping out entire camps of resistance supporters. We're their only line of defense. Let's take a look. Um, so health plus one. Recruit engineer would be very nice. Uh, aim plus four is also very good. On top of it, there's the promotion which we're probably going to go for. Health plus one. Yeah, we're going to start with the redu uh, reduction of avatar progress because that's just even more important than anything else. So let's use Renvin here. And let's give him Zirkim as his partner. Supplies. 
So they could be ambushed and wounded, that's fine, but that's pretty much about it. Before we do it uh, though, let's uh, do two things. Number one, we're upgrading it to a digital network, giving us an extra slot. That's cool. We had the power, so might as well use it. Besides, why wouldn't we have... Oh, that was destroyed. I got you. I just realized that wait a second. I mean, we did have uh we did have I think a bio lab here and it was uh sabotaged and destroyed. Clever, clever. So, let's go with the power relay. It's fine. We had enough supplies and currently, to be honest, we're anyways pretty far behind uh with the build here. That's okay. I mean, we will we will get there eventually. We just uh, that was suboptimal. I mean, sabotage at the Avenger is always bad, but I should have seen it. Um, so the reason why I paused was I wanted to see if we do have the engineer. We don't, so we can't upgrade the weapons. The reason why I wanted to do that before going on to the mission is the way that we put the soldiers into the mission that's also the way that they will effectively do the mission and if we do have an ambush and they still have com uh, conventional weapons um, that is suboptimal to say the least so it is what it is we're continuing and letting them uh, do the sabotage so we're playing a bit of a game of uh, chicken we're sabotaging each other. Um, the Chosens are sabotaging us, we uh, sabotage uh, the Avatar project. And yeah, we need to get the wound time down, no question about it. Still got our team Alexia, Alien, Poe and Outrider, the two already. And once our, once our engineer is back, might as well continue. Upgrading the weapons. There we go, finally. Okay. The only engineer is back. What can I do for you, Commander? And that means our weapon upgrades are ready. Unfortunately, we would need two engineers for the shotgun. For now, I think the magnetic rifle will go a long way. And will also eat up all of our alien alloys. The auto pistol wouldn't be bad either. But I think this here is good enough for now. Soon we're going to have uh, the resistance radio. That's not bad because we can then start continuing to um, to expand. And I want to go to Western Europe next. For now, I think we're still getting the um, supplies. We're, we're now low on supplies and the tower will cost us a couple of um, uh, supplies, plus the weapon upgrades, the potential weapon upgrades. There we go. Resistance radio finally researched. We're going to build one very soon. Improves uh, to our lab equipment manufacturing process will reduce the overall cost of a laboratory construction by 50%. Laboratories cost 180, so this will only save us 90 supplies. Supplies are really not our biggest problem at the moment, so I will skip that particular piece. Um, I guess the Advent Officer is a good idea, but before we start with it, I would want to go with the Sectoid. 
just so we have the mine shield. Gauss weapons also very very good, which is going to be our next one. It's probably sectored into advent officer because that uh, would give us proving grounds and then into Gauss weapons. Though I was never although I had realistic expectations as to the limited resources and facilities of Commander, we can now construct radio relays in any region where we've made contact. Good, so we got the uh, we got our supplies. If we were to do a radio relay, a uh, voluntary army, uh, on every mission there is a chance that a resistance soldier will join XCOM. Oh my gosh, that is so good. Greater resolve, um, lightly wounded uh, soldiers can be sent into combat. Let's first and foremost get the radio station. Because uh, when we're playing with only a squad size of two, having a third person, even if it's the absolute most blatant newbie ever, that is pretty, pretty good. Pursue of knowledge. Laboratory will provide an additional 20% research. We don't need that at the moment. Enemies lose one action if they have been discovered on XCOM turn. That's actually pretty good. So tactical analysis uh, might be something we want to look into as well. For now, let's build this. And whoa, nice little supply rate coming our way. I like it. I like it. So it's going to happen in the next mission, guys. And I think since it's a non-timed mission, it's a perfect opportunity for our um, sniper plus um, plus uh, reaper squad to show what they can do with a bit of a high ground advantage. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. That would help me and the channel. And if you like the content, uh, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, also, as always, uh, I'm very open for suggestions and uh, other comments about the playthrough. Um, and I am expecting to see you in the next uh, video. Thank you so much. See you later.